What's this? The Orca is biting the victim! No way! I have to say that this appears to be very damning evidence! Wow! Wow, Judge! <laughs> Well, that's not good. No, I can't believe Orla really bit him. And there's more. Look at this. This photograph was taken while the body was being ex examined. He's gonna point out that little scratch or something. Hmm. There seems to be a strange bruise. The victim's wrist. Oh, wow, I didn't even see that. Wow. Then again, I just examined it like for two seconds or something. I'll have the crime lab examine that bruise and calculate its relevance to the case at hand. What's important right now is evidence that points to the orca as the killer. Look at the left side of the body. See the orca's tooth mark in the victim's clothes? That's kind of what I was pointing at. Yes! They do appear to suggest that she did, in fact, bite the victim. Oh boy. I told you so! And then the killer whale swam up toward the surface with the victim in its mouth! Objection! Objection! However, in the autopsy report, the cause of death is confused contusion from head trauma Objection. or contusion however you freaking pronounce it someone's gonna tell me how to pronounce it and by the time I'm uploaded this I probably will have already figured it out <laughs> you are much you are much too impetuous right dono granted the orca biting the victim was not the cause of death the witness was mistaken about that. Then what explanation is there for for what the witness saw? Did I not say in the beginning the orca toyed with the victim mercilessly? My goodness! After killing the victim, the defendant swam around with his head with his dead body in her mouth. Just like any other predator toying with its prey. This is absurd. Ugh. Mr. Wright! The hearts of the people in the gallery are suddenly filled with fear. Fear of Orla! So the defendant bit the victim after she had killed him. But if that's the case, then we must still figure out how the defendant killed the victim. Prosecutor Blackwell, do you have sound... Do you have a sound theory to give to this court? I wouldn't be standing here if I couldn't prove whether the orca's heart was black or white. But Orla is black and white! Her body, I mean. Yeah, I kind of was thinking that when the when he first said that expression, actually. <laughs> Athena, please try not to v provoke Prosecutor Blackwell. This witness also observed the actual moment of the murder. Think back, ward, ward mistress. Think back. To what you observed before the orca bit the victim. Ah, I see what you are driving at. So that was the true moment of the murder, was it? Now, explain it in a way that even these simpletons can understand. There you go again, ordering me around! Stop that this instant! But whatever! I don't mind telling my story. I saw the killer whale before it toyed with the body as well. 
I saw it the moment it killed the victim by headbutting him! Or like kill the victim by headbutting him? That's right. It rammed the victim over and over again. Recall that the autopsy report stated that there was bruises all over his body. Recall as well how persistent the defendant can be when she's attacking her prey. And we all just saw the killer whale headbutting the victim in the footage. Don't forget. Hmm. That footage backs up Mr. Plume's testimony. But there's also something very important it does not show. The coins? Now do you see what a menace this killer whale is? Objection! Objection? I'm sorry, but I can't allow your testimony to stand unchallenged. Looking at this footage, the orca certainly seems to be headbutting something. But you'll note that the something is not the victim. Oh! What? <laughs> I want to look away. But I can't. <laughs> Even if the victim was... Even if it was the victim, you couldn't have seen him from where you were, could you? What? Uh, oh, well, uh, I suppose not. Mr. Plume, did you actually witness the victim getting headbutted by the defendant? Ah, uh, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I, I remember now! As I recall, a rock in the shape of a skull was obstructing my view. So, are you admitting that you couldn't see the victim? Yes, yes, I, I suppose I am. What is it with vic- What is it with witnesses and not seeing the- <laughs> The actual murder happen or whatever? Seriously! However- I immediately after the headbutting, the victim came floating up! He came up from behind the skull-shaped rock, and his bud body was all limp! What else could I think except that the killer whale was headbutting the victim? OBJECTION! OBJECTION! But if you didn't actually see the moment of the attack itself, then it's pure conjecture! OBJECTION! <sighs> Must I do everything around here? How dare you speak so rudely to me? There's no need for hysterics. Clear your mind and recall how you reached your conclusion. Though you couldn't see the orca was attacking, you didn't need to, did you? Because you knew she was behaving exactly as she had only once a year, only one year prior. Oh! oh! One year ago? That's right! Yes! That's it! That's how I knew the killer whale was headbutting the victim! I'm sorry, but could someone explain exactly what happened a year ago? If you must know, a very similar incident occurred only last year, in which the defendant murdered her trainer. Hey, this sounds like SeaWorld again. What? The orca murdered her trainer, you say? What? Is this really true? This is not looking good for us. It's all in this book. That book, The Killer Killer Whale. I know that book. I read that book. That's Mr. Plume's latest work. I was just thinking of picking that up. Oh, never mind. <laughs> he didn't read that book, but... <laughs> uh, he was... He knows about it. Last year, the defendant killed her trainer in the middle, 
middle of a show. The orca headbutted and bit the victim. The same thing she's accused of in this case. That orca killed the two people? That thing is a menace! I never want to go to the beach again! Oh my god, you're serious? Are you serious? That thing is a menace. Guilty, guilty, I say. I never want to go to the beach again. You don't see whales too often at the beach. If anything, if they're at the beach, they might be, uh, beached and helpless. No! Everyone's even more convinced that Orla did it! We were doing so well, but now... Now everyone in the room has a bad impression on Orla. I don't want to think she did it. But it's hard to keep on believing in somebody who can't even tell me her side. Phoenix! Athena! You gotta believe in Orla! There's no way she killed anybody! You gotta save her! Please! I'm begging you! Sasha. What am I doing? Doubting my client like this! This is no- This is the time to be strong! I believe in Orla, and I'm ready to fight for our clients! I'll take everybody in this courtroom on, if I have to! Don't worry, Sasha. We won't give up on Orla. We'll defend her to the very end. Thank you. Thank you both. Both of you. We are Orla's lawyers. Who else but us can save her? We can't give up on her now. Humph. For an instant there, you were afraid of the Orca, weren't you? Right, don't know. When you saw the photograph of the victim from a year ago, you turned paler than me. And he doesn't have a lot of sun on him. <laughs> he saw right through me. It's obvious you have neither the guts nor the determination to defend the Orca. It's true that Orla can't speak, and I don't know her thoughts. But there's a certain someone who believes in Orla with all her heart. I respect the trust she has in Orla, so I'm willing to believe in Orla, too. <sighs> and what do you know about Orcas? Nothing. That's what. So, allow me to fill you in. Do you have any idea why Orcas are also called Killer Whales? You better not say because they kill people, because when I was looking up that SeaWorld stuff, I was looking into it, and killer whales don't really exactly aren't known for killing people. I think there's only been like, like less than 10 people or less than 20 people that have been killed by actual killer whales that's been recorded. And uh, otherwise, it's because... They think they're like seals or something because they kill seals to, because they're they're carnivores, I guess you could say. I mean, technically we're... Either way, don't you dare say it's because they're killers. Because they're cunning and merciless predators that hunt and even kill and kill even true whales. Oh, shut up. So, killer whales really are killers what terrifying creatures indeed oh come on don't you even dare don't fall for this guy's Ugh. I can't bear to hear any more of such rubbish as trusting a killer can you your baldness no matter what you say I will continue to believe I don't give up that easily you know Dullard, you don't know when to give up, do you? Very well, I shall give you a chance to prove just how determined you are. Witness, spare no quarter and lay the full truth on them. Oh, ho, 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 ho. But of course.
boss. That is what I do, after all. Prosecutor Blackwell, what will you have the witness testify about? I shall have her testify about what she saw and what she heard. What she heard? Very well. Mr. Plume, please tell the court what you saw and what you heard. The killer's will. The killer whale's behavior was exactly the same as a year ago. As I approached the pool, the killer whale suddenly started singing. I was calm when I saw it start to headbutt. Wait, what? What? But when the pirate hat and victim came floating up, I let out a scream! Hmm. So the orca displayed the same behavior as during the incident a year ago. That's right! Those weren't just simple cries! It was singing! As I approached the pool, the killer whale suddenly started singing! It kept headbutting while it sang the Swashbuckler Spectacular Song. That's right, it was singing the same song it song, sung, sang in the aquarium stage show back then. It was singing while it was headbutting. Oh, it was perfectly horrible. Oh. Hmm. I don't see a single obvious inconsistency in their, this testimony. It's clear I won't be able to take her, take apart her statements with evidence alone. That's a big hint, Phoenix. A big hint that I don't really need. Mr. Wright, now would be a good time for me to put my skills to work. It's time to show what analytical psychology can really do. You seem pretty confident. Let me guess. You notice the contradiction between the testimony and her emotions? You bet I did! And once we expose it, we just might be able to crack her. No, scratch that. Make it, we'll definitely be able to. Yeah, I kind of saw, like, even without that, you were calm while she was headbutting? What? Then let's give your knowledge of analytical... Sci oh my god. Then let's give your knowledge of analytical psychology a try. You got it, boss. A complete analysis of Mr. Plume's heart coming right up. Beep, beep, beep. All right. Let's see here. The killer whale's behavior was exactly the same as a year ago. No emotion there. As I approached the pool, the killer whale suddenly started singing. I was calm when I saw it start to headbutt. But when the pirate hat and victim came floating up, I let out a scream. I see... Two things, maybe. Two things, maybe. Do you, yeah, I, do you see any emotions that seem out, odd or out of the place? Pay attention to not only which emotions you see, but how strong they are, too. An emotion might suddenly get stronger, for example, or you might see it grow re weaker. Yeah, okay, let me listen to her testimony again. Okay, nothing, nothing. Um, and then... You were calm, but you started crying. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Plume, Arla really frightened you with her headbutting, didn't she? Don't be absurd! I certainly was not frightened by the likes of any killer whale! It must have it must have been something else that scared her then, boss. However, 
I do remember being very afraid for some reason while it was doing that. It, so it sounds like maybe you saw something we haven't discussed yet. Take your time and try to remember what it was. What did you see? This is practically turning into a counseling session. Well, <laughs> oh, we've been through this more than once, Phoenix. Like, throughout the game. I mean, this is only, like, what, the second try, probably, with this. But it does develop into a counseling session, especially at the very end of the game. <laughs> I saw something. Oh! Ah! I, I, I remember now! Okay, we got 50%. Okay, good. Now if you could please tell the court what you saw. I saw... I saw... I saw... Bright's red blood! The killer whale's ramming caused the victims to bleed... The victim to bleed! That was a great cloud of blood! Well, I think we could kind of sort of see that in this picture. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. What? Seriously, Phoenix? Yes, that's it. That's what I saw was so sure. That's why I was so sure. That's when I knew that the killer whale had killed a person for a second time! Well, that was a very compelling statement indeed. Looking at this again, there does seem to appear to be something that could be a cloud of blood. So her terror was a reaction to blood, was it? That would certainly explain what happened yesterday. Please take a look at this bloodstained coin. Eek! Guess cease and desist at once! What kind of man shows a lady blood? Ugh! She doesn't have to get so worked up. Ah, uh, she has a... Yeah, she has... I think... I forget if I mentioned that during the vi that video, but... She probably has a phobia to blood. To seeing blood I was badly injured during an interview once ever since then I've been terrified of blood yeah that yeah that's some psychologic that you need a, a psychiatrist or some counseling for that after all Athena you're doing a good job so far now make it go back go to down to zero percent and we're good to go hopefully the very sight of it dreadfully upsets my delicate sensibilities. This is a bad turn. If Mr. Plume saw blood, then does that mean Orla really did attack the victim? It would appear that orcas are even more vicious than I am. So, how does it feel to be thoroughly rammed by your own cross-examination, right, Dono? What do we do now, boss? Ah, that toast testimony was not at all what I expected to hear. Wait a minute. There's still some discord left in Dead Plume's heart. What? You mean there's more? Yes. But there's no telling what it is. It could be something even more damaging. Uh, is there even anything left of our case to damage? Well, whatever it is, we have to face it head on. Athena, you believe in Orla, right? If so, there's no reason for us to shy away from the truth. Yeah, you're right. I know we can handle the truth, whatever it is. So let's delve a little deeper. You've got it, boss! The killer whale's behavior was exactly the same as a year ago. As I approached the pool, the killer whale suddenly started singing. 
After it started, headbutting, I saw that awful blood and was terrified. But when the pirate hat and victim came floating up, I let out a scream! I think it would happen to be... Nope. No? No? Okay. I thought it was. When we view your emotions alongside your testimony, we find the unexpected emotion! Wait a minute. There really isn't anything strange here, actually. I don't know, but I think maybe we made a mistake, Mr. Wright. I think maybe you're... right. Ha 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 ha! Uh, let's take let's take another look. There must be an ex unexpected emotion here somewhere. Well, the only other thing I can think of would happen to be, let's see. No, would be okay. You can stop. Yeah. Okay. Just the wrong motion, but she started... Her fear went back down for some reason. Huh? Her fear appears to lessen here at this statement. Even though it was pretty high in the statement before. Mr. Plume, weren't you afraid when you saw the victim... The victim with blood coming out of him? My, that's a very good question! I was shaken after witnessing a murder, yes, but then the blood seemed to disappear. Disappear? And why do you suppose that was? Simple! It was because of that pirate hat! After the killer whale put that hat on, the cloud of blood disappeared! Objection! And... How exactly does that work? Or make any sense? How should I know? I'm just telling you what I remember, blue boy! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. From whom was this blood that Mr. Plume saw actually come uh, coming from? Gotta be Orla. Gotta be Orla. Considering this, maybe the one who was bleeding wasn't the victim. I beg your pardon? What kind of ridiculous nonsense is that? There was no one else in that pool besides the victim. Oh, I wouldn't say there was no one else. It is an orca pool after all. What? Then, where is this alleged injury on the defendant? I'm not sure, but if simply wearing the pirate hat made the blood disappear... Then the blood must have been coming from somewhere on Orla's head! What? <laughs> the, the, the Orca's head? What are you prattling on about now? Please think about it again, Mr. Plume. Think back to what you really saw. Uh, I... That is... The, the one who was bleeding was not the victim, but the killer whale? No, I remember now! There wasn't any blood coming from the victim after all! Well, well, bye-bye.